What's up, guys? Frugal BC. Today, there's a new contender to Yieldy. It's called Algo Steak. We're going to pick it apart and tell you all the good and the bad and the ugly on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Frugal BC, and uh, today we are going to talk about Algo Steak. So, uh, Algo Steak was supposed to be planned for a little earlier, and there were some issues because you have to buy the coins on Tiny Man first. You can't buy the coins on Algo Steak. So, Tiny Man being down kind of made it so they couldn't do it. That's too bad, huh? But uh, we just we just dug into it this weekend, and we're going to tell you all about it. First, before we do that, if you like our experiments that we do, hit that like and subscribe buttons. Um, you don't have to smash them. You can just kind of press them lightly if you want. And as you know, we're here to, the, the whole point of this channel is to not just talk about crypto, but actually do it. We, we, we dig in, we get our hands dirty. We do the experiments. We find out is it good. Did it work for us? What didn't? You know, and we tell you. Because uh, some of the stuff in crypto, like, you know, it sounds great. When you actually get into it, it doesn't work that well. And uh, I've been, the reason I started doing this stuff is because I got frustrated by when I would see see a video on something, it sounded really great, and then I would dig in. There were about ten things that were made it a big pain in the butt that they didn't tell me about. So my whole goal, I want to tell you that stuff, so you don't make the same mistakes I do. So, uh, so just remember to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see all our crypto experiments. And today we're going to talk about Algo Stake. So Algo Stake went live actually a January 21st, believe it or not, they were talking about, they kept saying 22nd, and then they launched a little bit early. Like I said, they had to wait for Tiny Man to relaunch because of its exploit. And I talked about that a lot. You can see that video up here. I just go to that side. You know, I really ought to get that straight. <laughs> it's one of, it's either here or here. It'll be one of the two. You'll see it. And uh, let's just take a look at it because I think it's pretty interesting. There's our... Uh, there's our Algo Stake, and uh, Algo Stake has its own token, which is just under two cents right now. Pretty good, because uh, it bleeds up, it's beating Yieldy. Sorry, Yieldy, don't come after me. And they have a lot of staking pools. So one of the ones I actually kind of want to get into is the, the Algo Stake slash Algo pool, because uh, one token will give you 500 APR. That's not bad. And you can you can stake Algo Stake to itself, Choice Coins in there. I mean, they, they actually have a pretty big variety. Now, here's one of the aspects is uh, they have a pro edition. So some of the stuff you can't participate unless you pay their forty dollars a year pro membership, which isn't that much. But considering all the other platforms are free, I don't know. I think that's kind of annoying. But they're all like they're all like based on their own Algo Stake token. So, and I didn't look. That just doesn't seem like that good of an APR. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. But there's there's plenty to choose from that you can get involved with. So you don't necessarily need the pro. If you want to do that, that's cool. I probably won't. Uh, but just a, just a number of pools now. I know, you know this is very uh, kind of a very similar layout to Yieldy. The only difference is uh, there's like five things on Yieldy. And there's like separations for, hey, here's the liquidity pools. Here's the staking pools, et cetera. They're all they're they're separated out. And here they're all just kind of in one place. But that being said, there are a lot of there's stuff I mean Paratoken. I haven't even heard of that. I don't know what that is, Rex. So uh, the one I got involved in is AstroCat. Just just to try it out. So here's uh here's my AstroCat, and you have to have 200,000 AstroCats. I will tell you that two algo will get you more than enough astro cats to to participate in this. And so in fact, I have 224,346 astro cats. So that's exciting. And then what you'll see is a on a daily basis they will update the claim balance. Uh, right now it's zero cuz I took some this morning. Maybe I should have waited for the video, huh? There's actually 613 astro cats that I earned just today. So that's one day, one day's worth. So we'll check tomorrow and see if that's the case as well. So it's pretty usable. I think uh, I like that. I kind of don't like the, the layout. So one of the things I'll say that I don't like is, 
other than this, there's really not a lot of explanation. Before before I had entered this, where I, you know you can now see the AstroCat. When you hit stake, it just goes. It just kind of goes to this blank page. Instead of like walking you through, hey, this is what you should do. So that's a that's something from the UX perspective that they really ought to, you know, it, it should say like, well, you don't have that, so you should add that through Tiny Man because there's nothing really here that tells you tells you that. I mean, it does say that on their website, but in my opinion, you should always have that. You should always have that on your page. You always have to, and you know, this comes from journalism. You you always approach a story as if someone is reading it and hasn't heard of it for the first time. And I, I feel like good design, good, good, good API, good, good UX for a staking platform like this, like any kind of thing built in Web3 should always be built as if someone is coming to this and having no idea what they're doing. You should walk them through it. You got to walk them through it. So that's that's something I'm going to harp on with all the projects going forward. All right. So that's uh, that's kind of a little walkthrough through it. I know it's pretty brief, but uh, I don't know if there's a lot to talk about. You know, it's pretty easy to, to link up to. You just connect your wallet and you're good to go. So the pros. Well, there's a, a lot of options. There's more options than on ELD. So there's plenty to choose from. Uh, the pro version comes with auto staking. I should mention that. So uh, I should say auto restaking really is what it is. Uh, basically, it'll it'll automatically restake your, your amounts without you having to do that manually, which is pretty cool. Um, I did that today. I just reinvested it. Uh, process is pretty easy. Other than, like I said, I felt like they should have walked you through that a little more. But once all, this, once all the, the coins are in your wallet, um, it's actually really, really easy to, you just, you just connect your wallet, click on the stake, verify, they make you verify your wallet, probably a good step. And then boom, you got your, uh, you get your Astro Cats staked up, ready to go, ready to earn you some more Astro Cats. And uh, one of the things I like is that the assets never leave your wallet. This is, this is coming from, uh, right from the Algo Stake Twitter account themselves. Uh, the cons, like I said, hitting stake just takes you to an empty page. Instead of like taking you to a page that says, hey, you don't have anything, you need, you need to add stuff to your wallet, go to Tiny Man. Because if, if I was just a new user and I didn't even know about Tiny Man, I would come there and have no idea. Like there's, you guys got, you got to walk people through this stuff, you know? Not everyone's that savvy. Not everyone's, people get, there's a lot of people that are new to crypto. You got you to gotta make this stuff so the average person can understand it. I'm going to harp on this again and again and again. I don't know if I like the idea of there being a pro level. I, I, I've always liked the open platform of all these. This is the only platform in crypto that I've seen that's had a pro level. I'm sure there are others, but not any ones that I've used. So I'm not wild about it. I get, uh, especially when it's like usability, like like just make auto stake for everybody. Don't try to make money. Plus you got your token, make, make your money on your token and your fees. Take it that way. Don't take it out of making people pay an extra 40. I just, I just don't like it. Uh, some people might not have a problem with it. I'm just not wild about it. Well, it's weird too. I guess the landing page seems like really aimed at, I don't know if this is a con or not, but I thought it was a little weird. Like the landing page seems really aimed at ASA creators and not users. And I understand that they want people to, you know, they want they want these coin people to reach out to them. They want to hear from them. They want you know, it's the, the, you definitely want that on ramp, but like the whole thing, the whole landing page seems geared toward them and nothing towards the people who are going to be staking. I think that's a huge mistake. I mean, it looks very businessy too. It doesn't look very crypto y. You know what I mean? It looks like it looks like the landing page for, uh, I don't know, like a like a building design firm or something. You know, it doesn't it doesn't look crypto y. So you know what have you? And then uh, there's no there's really no on ramp here at all. Like you can't obtain assets in any way now that's different in uh well maybe it isn't but like there's not like an algorand it's just like a straight up algorand to whatever maybe their own coin or whatever like yieldy you didn't have to go get yieldy anywhere now fair enough tiny man didn't exist yet so yieldy you didn't really have that option but because of that they allowed you to participate in this lottery that allowed you to get yieldy and you could take the yieldy for more yieldy and a little more algorand and this one has no swapper on ramp available at all. I don't have a problem with the swap, but maybe it would have been good to have some kind of mechanism by where you can stake Algorand and get other things. I, again, you know, I'm, this isn't necessarily like a harsh criticism. 
the only one I'm really harsh on is uh, the 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 ability to walk new users through this. I think I think there needs to be a much legible, much more legible pathway. However, you know, I got to point this stuff out. So, so overall, what do I think about this? I feel like this is akin to yieldy, so it's probably not the same risk level as as tiny man. But then yeah, I think you're going to get better rewards through here overall than you will on just just participating in governance. As you know, I'm a I'm a yes and person when it comes to this stuff. I think you should participate in all of it. I'm going to because I want to experiment and test and let you know how things are going. So that's, uh, you know, I, I, I would say it'll definitely be in my arsenal. How much I use it, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. In fact, I have to look into the, the actual pools. Do I have to buy the pool and extract the pool from Tiny Man? Or do I, is just having both of the tokens? And, you know, it doesn't really tell me that anywhere. So something to think about. But uh, overall, you know, it's always good to have more platforms. And so good for Algo Stake for getting launched. I think it's a cool program. I've kind of told you the pros and cons, and I'm very curious what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below. Do you do you like this? How, do you like it better than the LD? Do you like Yieldy better? Uh, is it horse of peace? I, I want to hear it from you. So anyway, guys, keep uh, keep holding on to your coins. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the future.